we're at uh, Dave McCulley's shop down in uh, Franksville Road in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And what Dave has an F-550 with a uh, utility truck, box truck, with a broken tap. It wasn't something that he did, it was something that was a box repair from a previous shop. And Dave has a 8mm uh, 125 cap that the, that the previous repair broke off. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to go ahead and drill through a tap today and rescue the engine head without pulling the engine and replacing the head or vice versa. What we're going to use is our new Pro Mill. This is a PPT platinum device that both cuts and rips metal. We're going to use our plate. As you can see, Dave has already bolted up. And we're going to use the, uh, my drill with a flexible hose that we also provide to make it, to make it easy so we're not uh, stressing it or breaking the platinum bit. We're going to give it a try. I'm sorry, the fractured tap about to come out. There it is. Wow. Right there. Oop. That bitch just ate it. Nice. What's left of it? There you go. You're not going to get it out any other way. Right. I mean, what was the alternative? Yeah. You gotta pull the engine or pull the cylinder head, which either way. What's you know, your RR ahead? 15 hours, 12, 15 hours? At least, plus all the parts. And, you know, you got a lot, a lot of labor there. Yeah, I mean, that took us about, uh, that took about a half an hour. We got here about 4.40. That's now 5 after, 10 after 5. So what David has shown you is that you can remove a broken tap with a Promax tooling. We've had a couple different steps. Um, first, to flatten the stud, excuse me, flatten the tap with a flat on it because it was jagged and it would just eat up tooling. Once we had a flat in it, we started drilling into it. That's what he did. He drilled all the way through it. And then we had a piece drop off and break off. So we used one of our reamer bits to ream off the remaining material. Left a little bit of fragment. You can see that David removed. So now, obviously now, we're going to have to go ahead and drill, tap it, and put an insert in it, but far better and stronger than the original aluminum thread. Nice job, David. Thank you. It worked beautifully. So what David did is he removed the tap, the portion of the tap that said it was stuck in there. That's all successful. That's done. Now what he's doing is because the previous repair, they actually drilled it oversized and broke the tap off and it messed up the tap. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use our thread repair kit. And David's going to go ahead and drill it and he's going to go ahead and run a tap in it and then install our steel insert, which is black oxide coated for uh, corrosion resistance, and we'll be done. So we'll stay tuned. Dave is doing now is he's pulling the plate off. Dave has gone ahead and drilled it out. Now remember, this is a broken, a broken tap uh, that was about half of in there. David removed the tap, drilled through it, built, uh, machined it down flat, drilled through it, removed the tap. A piece of it broke out. You saw pictures of that earlier. And what he's going to do now, he's drilled a hole to uh, pre-tap it. We're going to tap it and put an insert in. Right back. He's using our insert and uh, our insert tool. He's starting right. You see how easy it goes in? That's exactly the way you want it. You put a drop of Loctite red, um, locking fluid. Uh, the art kit comes with it. Just put it right in there. Now, we did put a little bit of uh, uh, anti-seize, permanent anti-seize on the insert tool so we can extract it. How'd the job go overall? What do you think? Uh, it was grim this morning with that broken extractor, but the tooling just made it, you know, uh, th this engine would have come out. Yeah. The head would have to come off and go to the machine shop, if not be replaced. So, yeah, I mean, the tooling works awesome. The alignment, you're okay because you have good alignment, everything else? It aligns perfectly. Good. Everything is just, it works perfectly. How do you feel the drill bit's cut? Uh, sat satisfactory to you? Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, they, they cut like no other bits that you're going to buy in the store. I mean, they, they just, they throw metal. You know, if you do it just like you say, toggle the drill, get it started, and then cut low RPM at first, and then, you know, it, it really works good. I know so, you commented about the tap, the ease how the tap worked. Any other thoughts on how the, how the tap worked for you? The tap works unbelievably. It cut through that head like it was, you know, nothing. It just put threads in it beautifully. 
the inserts in there. It's just we'll wait till morning and the manifold can go back on. There you go. All right, David, Job thanks done. so much. Good job. Mike, thank you. With you. All Thank right, you. Man.